Brian Wilson, Mary Catherine Hamm, Brian Neiman, today's newsmakers, and you, the morning majority. AM 630. 837 on the morning majority on a Friday morning. Can't and wait for the weekend. Good stuff. And we have with us Brett Baer of the Fox News Channel. His first occasion, his first visit on 105.9 FM. How's it That's going, right. Brett? You're, you're you know broadcasting to a huge my area. Second, my second run. Oh, right. I thought Is you it, would not I come on yet. Debate. Then forgive me, we are incorrect in our we memory. We just had a debate about this. Yeah, and, and, and and we, listen, you know, when you get up at the hour of our morning, we have to be forgiven for occasionally <laughs> forgetting stuff. But I should point out I'm very proud to be back for the second time. Good, I'm Good. glad. Um, so before we get to the serious stuff, I do want to ask you, we've been having another debate about what the catchiest pop tune of all time is. Wow. Some scientists have decided it is we are the champions. What do you think? Wow. That's tough. I think, um, let's see, 86753. Oh, yeah. it's on the list. A lot a, of people said that's that. That's a third yeah. or fourth vote for that. I think that's a wise choice. Yeah, I think that's good. I also like that song by the Romantics. That's what I like about you. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. true. Okay, well, Watch anyway. Watch out, you'll get him singing. On okay. to other topics. So, <laughs> Brett, wanted to ask you about uh, Anwar al We here. We have uh, apparently... Somebody has taken him out. Have we? Do we have it confirmed that it was U.S. drones yet? Yes. Okay. Uh, and it was a strike on a, a vehicle. Three or four guys in there, uh, including a Lockie. The the key part here is, well, so far intelligence officials are saying that they worked alongside the Yemeni officials. Most times, uh, they say that if we're operating in a foreign country, but. Um, this case, it, it may in fact have, have been true. I think there were some ground forces involved as well. And you start to see two things. One is how significant this takedown was. And the fact that he's killed is a big deal in the fight against terror and a big credit to the administration, which has had some, obviously with bin Laden and others, uh, some success in taking out the, the structure of al-Qaeda Two is this guy was not really the top of the rung, but he was an ideological leader who was really uh, trafficking in trying to get these lone wolf types who not, didn't necessarily get the memo from the Al-Qaeda structure, but were signing on to the ideology and doing their own thing in the name of Al-Qaeda. And uh, that is the threat going forward, so this is a big deal for the fight and protecting the U.S. Did the raid, or did the the taking out actually occur today? Are we getting the news contemporaneously, or is it like bin Laden where they waited to identify? No, it was, uh, let's see, I'm just checking here. I think uh, today in the morning local time, uh, 10 a.m. local time. So they're eight hours ahead of us. Yeah, Brett has access to the the most valuable news source a person can have, the Fox News Urgent Queue. That's exactly right. It is. (laughs) Uh, It is indeed. It um, is truly amazing how that thing operates. It, it, Catherine Harridge has been doing some great reporting on this. Uh, she's been all over the al story for, from uh, day one, and, and she has a lot of uh, sources. The, the government in Yemen actually announced the death, so you see the, the interaction between the U.S. and, and Yemeni officials. Uh, it was, about, it was uh, just about 100, and, 100 miles east of the capital of Sana'a, and the operation was launched today. 9.55 a.m. local time. Let me talk politics for a moment, Brett, because I looked at the big new Fox News poll that came out the other day, and it showed that Romney on top and Perry perhaps beginning to soften a little bit in his support. I think that is especially true after that uh, big Fox-Google debate y'all had down in Florida. And the surprise to me, and I think to a lot of people, was the surge of Herman Cain. We saw that straw poll thing. A lot of us said, ah, well, you know, you can gen up uh, a win on a straw poll. That doesn't mean you have real support. But the poll seems to suggest that he's surging. What what do you read into all that? Yeah, I think, I mean, I think that it's not just that poll, but other polls. Um, There's a Survey USA poll in Florida that has Herman Cain at 25% and Mitt Romney leading at 27%. Wow. With a margin of error of four. So. I, I do believe that uh, polls are going to start to show that Herman Cain has has taken some traction and uh, has has really jettisoned up into the top tier of candidates. Uh, that's significant, and the question is whether Mitt Romney has a ceiling in his support. There is a certain population in the GOP uh, 
who feel that uh, they just could never get behind Romney because of one thing or another, Romney care, uh, some different positions, uh, or just an overall buying into the guy and they don't see him as the nominee. So the fight has been who else is not Romney. And at first it was Governor Perry who may come back, you never know. Yeah. But that, that debate performance shook some support definitely off of his tree. And then now you have Herman Cain and Newt Gingrich picked up some points. Yeah. Uh, but, but Cain is really, uh, we're seeing more and more uh, folks anecdotally saying uh, they really like him. The and question is whether his foreign policy bona fides will get, uh, he'll shore himself up uh, in weeks ahead. And the other question politically is this big fight that's going on over who's going to go first with their primary. Florida threatening to go early. I mean, Iowa usually is first, and New Hampshire's second, Nevada's third, and South Carolina is fourth. But Florida wants to move it up to January 31st, one hears. Yeah, so Iowa will be first. We may be right. doing Thanksgiving in this point, <laughs> uh, but Iowa will be first, and New Hampshire will be second, and South Carolina will be third, and Nevada will be fourth. I mean, that's a done deal on those right. four, but uh, they may shift up, and it looks like they will. I mean, we'll get a decision either today or tomorrow, and uh, Florida has shaken up the calendar already. In the event of a compressed and early calendar like that, does it change the drop-dead date for someone like a Palin or a Christie jumping in? That's an interesting question. I think question. Uh, it's just a matter of days. You know, the first yeah. filing uh, is the end of October for Florida. Okay. Uh, and, you know, I think you probably have two weeks where, you know, leeway right here. But I think uh, we will find out the decisions one way or another. We're in creeping up on it. Days. All right. Thank you very much, Brett, for being here. Brett Bear. We'll often, and Mary Kevin who occasionally appears on the panel of All Stars. Coming back. It's Tons awesome. of fun.